I don't know what Dallas Goddard did. I'm just going to fly out on him. In this game, I think this game fits in pretty well. But it's just a game to be found a little bit more. The game is one second exists. And we're going to make that side again. Steve Davis. 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 Yeah, and they're trying to protect these quarterbacks on the back end. Raider Cove had a little bit of a tough day in the against Buffalo Bills when he had to go and play on the outside. He has been free. So not a lot of man to man. They're not gonna match up against Devontae Smith and AJ Brown. They're just gonna play their zones and hope that front four can get there. They're gonna long yard Kenneth Gatewell's the back. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Ken and Robert? Um, there were a couple unpaid for spots. They're pretty large orders. Um, I'm going to message the buyers again. They're all repeat buyers, so I know I've paid in the past. So I'm going to uh, – I think I may try and leave these uh, – Leave these orders open for the guys who haven't paid yet and take a chance that they'll get their payments in. Um, so we'll get started pretty quickly tonight. What's going on, Vin? What's up, what's up Yeezy and Troy? Let me drop in the leftover lots, which are, which are actually pretty small today as well. So we had three leftover firsts. They were all auto onlys, making it making them available for a dollar uh, dollar each for the three. So three dollars for Brett Wisely, Javier Valdez, and Royber Salinas. I think uh, Brian hit a red. Uh, was it a red shimmer uh, yesterday of um, Valdez? Uh, for anybody who doesn't have the PayPal Venmo information yet, I'll put it right there up on the screen. I don't have the uh, the whole overlay thing today. Didn't leave myself enough time to uh, to copy in all the orders, so we're uh, we're going with the old school YouTube this time. Um, Vin is grabbing the leftover first, and that is three dollars total. And then. The leftover everything else, which is uh, pros and prospects that are not firsts. Let me drop that information in. So that is 22 total spots for $11, 50 cents a spot. That lot is in there as well. As usual, I want to mention the eBay sweepstakes. So I'll drop in the information for the eBay sweepstakes into the chat. Um, anybody who is part of eBay breaking is eligible to enter into the sweepstakes, and the information is in the chat. Ken grabbing the leftover uh, pros and non-first prospects. All right, Ken, you got that. Let me put your the two year information into my spreadsheet so I can get that stuff sent out to you. Ken and Vin grabbing the leftover lots, and I think that'll get us right into it. What is uh? I have the the Dolphin Eagle game going on in the background. Since I'm a Finns fan, I can't miss out on that. So. Uh, I'll be relying on you guys for updates on the uh, Rangers Astros game. How uh, how is that game standing right now? All right, we have just got the payment from Vin. Thank you. Um, we have a full case here. It's actually from a couple different locations, so it's not a full case. It's twelve standalone boxes. Um, so let's see. I have three rows of three here. I'm going to go back to front. So the first six people to list a number in the chat can choose which six boxes we're going to open today. Then hopefully, hopefully we pull you some. 
we're probably one of the auto guys. That that lot seems like it's been hitting a lot, but it's usually a lot bigger than this. So uh, only three guys will be a tough chase, but if we hit something, hopefully uh, it'll be really nice. Let's see. We have number four. We're we're always happy to have you. I uh, and I'm sure you're in a good mood knowing that the Phillies are only one game from the World Series. Open the ones with hits for you, Rob. You're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to choose the ones with the hits. All right. So we have box number four. Let's see. Uh yes, inserts are still available as well. Joe, good call. Joe, taking the inserts. Or ten. Rico seems to be the only one making calls, so we'll let him. We'll let him do his thing. We have number five and number one. We need three more boxes. Oh, Eagles touchdown in the background. Casey, what's going on? First time breaking with us. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining. We have Robert calling number three. So we need two more boxes. Um, for anybody else who is new to our breaks. Let me drop the information for the Facebook group in there as well. Um, a lot of times, if we have leftovers, we'll put them in the um, we'll put them in the Facebook group before the break to make them available. We also run some team breaks out of there. I know we'll definitely be running some tops update um, and tops update Chrome next month. I'm trying to think what other product is coming out next month. I feel like there's something else big that I'm not remembering. Oh no, is a uh, pro debut that came out this week that Brian's been running some breaks up through the group. Let's see. Just needed some Javier Sanova number to 25, five and one to complete the rainbow. Casey, let's see what we can do. I, uh, I'm chasing my first rainbow right now and it is, uh, drew Timmy. Let's see. I'm going to pick the other two boxes so we can get moving here and I'm going to take the middle row boxes. So we have our six. And let's put the other six in the background. I'll leave the payment and the info in the background for now. And let's get things started. Let me get some of this packing foam off the table. Let's see, big money, no whammies for Robert. Darren, what's going on with you? Things are good here. Let's see. Easy. You took World Baseball Classic only, so pull you a nice color. We pulled – Brian pulled a uh, another green Otani last night. So if we can do something like that for you, that would be a nice $180 hit. We we had pulled one of those earlier a few weeks ago, and I checked the value on that, and I was shocked to see that the Otani green World Baseball Classic was all the way up at 180 I figured it would have been uh, – a good value card, but I didn't expect that much. All right, let's get this all set. Um, I received the payment from Ken. Thank you. And let's get things started. All right, taking the payment information down. If anybody needs it at any point, let me know. And let's get it started. For anybody who's watching the uh, the Rangers game and knows the score, let me know. Let me know how that one's looking in the chat. For anybody who's hoping for Dolphins updates, I'm sure I'll be providing plenty of those. All right. I I didn't catch Brian's break last night, but he uh, he showed me his wall of hits afterwards, and uh, it looked like he said that if he would have hit a super fractor, he would have hit the entire rainbow of hits out of one half case. Hit everything from red up to refractor. See if we can let's see if we could add the super tonight. Obviously, coming from different cases, since one case is from uh, David Adams, and that was being pulled in Virginia, and we're pulling this case from New York, and this one is from, uh, like I mentioned, a couple different places. So let's see where the uh, it's probably gonna be pretty inconsistent where the autos are located throughout this 
this break, so we'll probably just go straight through it unless we start to see a pattern. The Rangers need the W. Rain three one Rangers, nice. And that game's in Houston, right? All right, starting this break off tonight, we have a rookie of Masataki Yoshida. Nice start there. We have a shimmer, so I guess that means our autos are going to be in the second row. So that'll help us figure that out. Our shimmer, Yasser Mercedes behind the Jeremy Pena iconic. Elian Soto and Oswaldo Osorio, our first base firsts. Let's see. So you have multiple break groups. Uh, yeah, Casey. Um, we, uh, I am breaking from New York. Um, this is the eBay store that I started. I was on here for a couple of years. And then one of our regular breakers, um, Brian, who is uh, also known as Ishi Breaks, reached out to me one day and was like, hey, could you show me how you do this? And I was like, absolutely. And we started uh, working together to uh, be able to double up the number of breaks that we were running. So yeah, we have uh, me and Brian that were running for a long time. And then um, when eBay did their thing where they restricted a lot of sellers, we had one other person join with us, uh, Sweet Spot Breaks. He's actually going to be getting back up on eBay himself next, not next month, but the month after. So uh, then it'll be back down to me and Brian again after, uh, after November. We have Pete Alonzo, Tristan Casas, iconic rookie. We have a Grayson Rodriguez Aqua Lava. That's a really nice card with an Ethan Salas behind that. 24 of 199 there. Salas and Adrian Pinto. Oops, let's leave that up. For, uh, for you guys who aren't familiar with our breaks, um, actually, let me do the notched sleeves for these since I'm low on penny sleeves until my order comes in Tuesday. So we're going to be putting a lot of the nicer hits in the nicer sleeves with the notches. Let's see. Nice Rodriguez. We'll put that one up in the background to start things off and we'll sleeve up the Pinto. I don't think I, I said I was going to drop the paper, uh, the Facebook information. And then I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Yeah. So if anyone wants to join the Facebook group, I'll take a look at the, uh, the group after the break and I'll make sure that everybody's admitted into the group who wanted to join. All right. Moving that second row down to the bottom. So that is likely where the auto is going to be. It's usually in the row after the shimmers. We have a Shea Langeliers rookie, Paul Goldschmidt. We have a Speckle first non-auto of Luis Torres, Alfredo Duno, and Cam Collier. So far, so good with the hits. Torres coming out, our first numbered card, or actually our second numbered card, coming out as a first. And the Rodriguez, a nice one to hit out of the uh, out of the rookies there. Let's see. Question: If you buy multiple players, do we, we charge shipping once? Yes. Um, if you uh, wait until the end of the uh, all auctions, we send out invoices to all of the buyers. So usually, I think these auctions are ending around seven forty. So by seven fifty five, usually I, I have all the combined invoices sent out. We have a Hunter Brown. Leo Vera Paguero, rookie. Adley, it came to the league. Anthony Gutierrez and Angel Cepeda. It was a wild football day today. I did not see the uh, the Bills, even as poorly as they played against the Giants last week. I didn't see them losing to the Patriots. Grayson Rodriguez, Yuri Perez, rookies. I believe Grayson Rodriguez and Yuri Perez were the two of the top three pitching prospects coming into the season this year. Gunnar Henderson, iconic insert, Spencer Jones, and Jackson Merrill. We have a Vlad. We have an Invicta of Henry Bolt, Brooks Lee, and Termar Johnson. Our first Invicta on the board. And it is, like most of the guys in this uh, in the Invicta checklist, not on the base checklist. So that goes to 
Joe and the insert only spot, Garrett Cole, Francisco Lindor, William Bergola prospect process, Elijah Green and Roman Anthony. For the uh, for the new guys, Jacques and Casey, who are you uh, who are you guys fans of? We have uh, a pretty diverse community of people here fan wise. I'm a Mets fan. We uh, we seem to have a lot of Reds fans. I know we have Vin as a uh, a Philly fan, so good for him. We have uh, Meb. I don't think I've seen Meb in the room yet today, but his son is pitching for the uh, the Diamondbacks organization now, so he's pivoted from the Rockies to uh, the Rockies and the D-backs recently. We have Aaron Judge, Zach Neto rookie, and uh, there we go, our first World Baseball Classic for you, Lee. Po Young Wang, the Chinese Taipei, Taiwanese player. Number 55 of 499, Deanne Jorge and Colson Montgomery. So first World Baseball Classics hit on the board. And it is Po Young Wang. Can't say I've heard of him before, but on the board for the w WBC spot. Getting We're getting Lee hits tonight. And we're getting, uh, is that? No, it's just going to be a regular insert. Francisco Alvarez, a rookie. Mookie Betts, Jose Salas, Arizona Fall League, Luis Torres, and Jackson Holiday. Let's see, Troy, are we allowed to ask if people have their cards of a certain player? I'm not sure what you mean, Troy. Asteris Ruiz. Estuary Ruiz, um, Luis Arayaz, Zach Veen, Edrin Rodriguez, and Kevin Arayu. Trying to do a rainbow of Michael Arroyo. If people have cards, oh yeah! If you're if you're looking for uh, certain cards and you want to see if anybody in the chat has them, absolutely. If you want same same thing. If you want to join the Facebook group and reach out in there and see if uh, anybody could help you hunt for the cards that you're missing, definitely feel free. We like to, uh, that, that's why we like to keep the community, make things like that possible. Casey Schmidt, Edward Julian. Our first auto is a Luis Serna. It's been a while since we hit one of those. Nice penmanship there. Hans Montero and Brooks Brannan. So Luis Serna, the one of the few pitchers that have base cards in this product. Getting an auto. Julio Jones signed with the Eagles on Tuesday and is playing? That did not know that. All right, let's see what our second auto is. Looks like it's purple. Jordan Alvarez, Garrett Mitchell. I don't know whose arm that is. It is Jesus Bagarin, the purple on purple. We like that. Number 10 of 250 there with a Welbin Francisa and Brayler Guerrero behind that, but... Nice purple on purple, Bugarin, and I need to open up some more top loaders. The purple is sharp. Always, always have a good purple on purple Colorado Rockies auto. Put that front and center for now. Ooh. Always love when they make the uh, the Colorado guys wear the purple jerseys in their pictures so we can have, get that purple on purple match. Let's see. We'll sleeve up our Welbin. And the Guerrero. And we'll move on to box number two. So not bad out of box number one. We got the Bugarin Purple Auto. Nice hit for Grayson Rodriguez. Nice hit for Luis Torres. Things not going as well for the Dolphins yet. And heading even more in the wrong direction. I'm definitely 
rooting for the Rangers. So sorry, sorry, any uh, Astros fans. Although I guess by my logic of who do I think has the better chance of beating the Phillies in the World Series if they make it through, I guess maybe I should be rooting for the Astros. It's always always painful as a Met fan watching uh, teams from the division take it year after year. And it just keeps happening year after year. It doesn't seem like the Braves are going to be going anywhere anytime soon. And Philly is looking good as well. I saw somebody posted a, uh, a story or a, a video from one of the sports talk shows in New York or ESPN, and they were talking about the Phillies players that could have been a Met or a Yankee that we, uh, that we passed on. And there's some good ones. Riley Green, iconic. Ensign Paulinho Invicta. Lazaro Montes and Junior Caminero, including the, uh, the Phillies manager who was a coach for the Yankees. They interviewed him for the job and didn't give it to him. So the uh, the New York front offices maybe need to learn a thing from Philly. Jordan Walker, rookie. Mark Vientos. Manny Machado, iconic. Victor Torres And Jesus Caba first. Let's see. Being a Yankees fan, you'll root for anyone in this series besides Houston. Yeah, I could, uh, I could understand that stance as a Yankees fan. I find it hard to root for Houston as well, and I don't even have that shared experience of being robbed by a team that was cheating. Tanner Bybee. Brian Rocchio. Miguel Vargas. Tia Lava. Numbered 119, uh, 114 of 199, Rainer Arias and Jacob Reimer. So another one of the big names, Rainer Arias getting on the board with Francisa and Ethan Salas, who both have bases on the board as well. We have Xander Bogarts, Mike Trout, William Bergola prospect process, Gavin Cross, and William Bergola getting two hits in that one. Mariners fan here with Pete. Never, never had any issue with the Mariners. Was always, always kind of fond of them from the other coast. Spencer Steer. Juan Soto, Jackson Merrill, Arizona Fall League, Jacob Berry, and Gabriel Gonzalez. There was a there was a minute at the beginning of his career that I was kind of hoping that Jared Kelnick didn't become the huge star that he might have been since we uh, gave him up to you guys, but I'm um, I'm even rooting for him now. Joey Votto, Vinny Pasquantino, Colt Keith, Luis Angel Acuna, and Michael Arroyo. See, we should have a lot of hits coming up now. Not much color out of this one yet. And here we go with our shimmer. O'Neill Cruz, Manny Machado. The shimmer is a first. Adrian Pinto, Brady House, and Xavier Isaac. Pinto getting a first shimmer. And that means that this next row will be our auto. So let me try and remember to move that road to the bottom and do the other rows first we have gold coming up here i don't remember that foot maybe might be another world baseball classic spot christian yelich jordan alvarez iconic it is i think that is a flag marcus stroman puerto rico gold lee getting gold 42 of 50 Edwin Solano and Carter Young. So Lee, two boxes in. You got two hits on the board already. This uh, this World Baseball Classic checklist is huge. There are very few guys that I've seen from multiple times from this checklist. So there must be a lot of guys. I never never counted the full checklist. Let's see. 
So these will be our autos, and these will be, I think we should have another refractor in this row. Raphael Devers. There's our first Otani. We have a refractor behind that to 499 and some Masataki Yoshida. So that one not going to the World Baseball Classic spot, but going to Yoshida, number 42 of 499. Felden Celestin and Angelo Sarmiento. So Celestin getting on the board, adding to our list of the big names getting base hits in the first two boxes. Sarmiento will sleeve up our Otani. And the Yoshida will get a top load. Nice add-on for the Yoshida spot. Let's see. Tommy, a Tigers fan. Pete Diaz. Could have made a difference for the M's, obviously. Seawald as well, yeah. Was Seawald in that Cano trade also? I was I was actually trying to remember where we sent Seawald after uh, that he ended up on the uh, D-backs. Joey Ortiz and Bryce Miller rookies. There's another Yoshida. It came to the league insert. Serna and Luis Almeida. And final pack of box number two, or final two packs of box number two with our autos. Oswald Peraza, Wander Franco. We have a Daniel Mateo base auto, Raymond Mola and Jose Gerardo. So Gerardo base auto, adding to the Luis Cerna base auto that we pulled out of the first box, and the Jesus Bulgarian purple, and let's see if we can get color in this one as well. We have a double base here. Jeremy Pena, Chris Bryant, Luis Perales, also an auto-only pitcher for the Red Sox, Yadar Aranamo, and Yasser Mercedes. So... Still in search of a big auto hit in this break so far tonight. Two or three auto onlys and one from the base checklist, Luis Serna. Continuing on to box number three. See, Diaz will be back. Seems like he was the catalyst for the Mets season. He certainly brought excitement, to, a lot of excitement to the stadium, and it was uh, the bullpen was. Definitely not the same without him. The bullpen was an absolute disaster this season for us and uh, definitely lost us a lot of games in the first half. And I imagine that things would have been a lot different had we not blown a couple of those games late at the beginning of the season and never, never quite recovered from that. So, yeah, fingers crossed you're right, Pete, that he's back and at full strength next year. No World Baseball Classic injuries possible next year you need the fins to get in the end zone now before the end of this half i saw that the line on the, the opening line on this dolphins game was minus four and a half for the eagles and i couldn't i couldn't bring myself to do it but as a, as a dolphins fan but if i if i was neutral in this game i would have been all over the eagles on with that spread it seemed a little bit low to me all right, we have box number three open. Let's see. This feels like it may be a relic. So we might have, I think these are case hits, the relics. I've seen about one a case on average. Let's see what we have here. And it is an orange Edward Julian. First, first one of these I've seen that's orange. We have seen a, uh, a Jackson Merrill base number to 10. But this is the first one of these I've seen. So let's see. This is numbered to 21 of 25. We have a Victor Asturias behind that. It says game use material. We know that is not the case. Um, this is relic card contained not from any specific game, event, or season. 
but I guess this is a jersey. So we have a solid black patch. Maybe maybe this is from the the uh, Minnesota plate on the jersey, which is pretty cool. Let's get a uh, large top loader ready for that. Let's see. Chris Metz really missed Diaz this season. That is for sure. What's going on, Brian? Brian, that's uh, one of the cooler relics I've seen. The orange looks good on the relic card. The Julian spot was taken tonight. And I know it wasn't in one of Brian's breaks this weekend, which I was surprised because a rookie leadoff hitter on a playoff team is uh, doesn't always happen. Let's see. I'm going to have to grab a bigger top loader for this, so I'll do that after the break. But that is uh, – you know what? Let's put that one back on the on the stand back there. The Julian Orange Relic that appears to be from the Minnesota plate on the front of the jersey. And we have the Victor is Torres as well. Meb, what's going on? Busy week. Missed the other breaks. We had a couple good ones. Brian ran a really good one last night with some cool pulls. Ronald Acuna. Wander Franco, Termar Johnson, Ascension. So we have a, uh, a relic and an Ascension in the same box. Camilo Diaz and Dernish Valdez. Oh, the Dolphins look like they're going to struggle tonight. Never tough traveling to Philly. Only only hope is that this uh, this is a matchup that we will see again this season. And that the Dolphins will get another chance at this game. Probably rather rather face the uh, the Eagles in the Super Bowl than the 49ers at full strength. Reese Hoskins, Corey Seager, Jackson Merrill, Prospect Process, Sebastian Walcott, and Gennaro Miller. So Meb, what were the what were the details of that um that Corbin Carroll you sent me the picture of? Was that that was a Chrome card, right? We have a Freddie Freeman, Manny Machado. We have a refractor of Brooks Lee, Andy Acevedo, and Jet Williams. So we've had a nice variety of firsts so far. Some more of the notch sleeves out. So Meb sent me a picture earlier today of a uh, Chrome update card that he hit. I think it was Chrome at least of uh, of Corbin Carroll with a bunch of pumpkins or jack o' lanterns in the background. An interesting uh, interesting new card that I've never seen Tops make before. We have Oscar Cola starting off this one foil, and I'm not sure. So I guess it was a paper card, not a not a Chrome. I'm guessing one pumpkin parallel per blaster. Oh, that's interesting. Oscar Colas, rookie. Ooh, nice completion by Tua. Miguel Amaya, Jason Dominguez, Arizona Fall League, Marcelo Mayer, and Samuel Zavala. That would be interesting if they if they made that the new blaster thing. They put a pumpkin parallel in everyone. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Emmanuel Valdez, Nick York, Arizona Fall League, James Wood, and Roderick Arias. I see purple. Shouldn't be an auto yet, so it should just be a regular purple refractor. Patrick Bailey, Bobby Witt Jr. It is a regular purple refractor. It is not a first. Alex Ramirez. I believe Alex Ramirez's super is still out there. Both, or at least... At least two, possibly more refractors out there with uh, the Juan Benjamin story. I don't know if you guys have caught that yet. This is 218 of 250. Nelson Rada and Jace Young. Um, there are now three super refractors of uh, non-autos of Juan Benjamin floating around. So Tops did the buyback for uh, the second parallels out there. We'll see what comes out with this story in, over the next few days. If, uh, if it's going to turn out there are more than two Super Fractors, they're going to have to redo the buyback program. I don't think we'd hate that. We have an Adley, Alex Bregman, Fuchsia Shimmer, first color shimmer that we've had, and it is Marcelo Mayer, nice card there. That is number 74 of 199, Davison De Los Santos and Miguel Blyce. I have been loading up on Marcelo Parallels myself. 
I think I mentioned this a couple of breaks ago, being that his price has been down a bit because he kind of struggled at the end of the season with some injuries. Seems like a good time to load up on Marcelo at, at a discount. I don't I don't think the uh, the Red Sox are about to lose faith in their number one pick of two years ago. And uh, he did have some hob- hobby love when he first got released. So I imagine when he get when he gets called up, he'll see some more love like kind of like Ellie did this year, hopefully. Bo Naylor, Christopher Morell, probably not quite the Ellie hype, but can hope. Riley Green, it came to the league insert. Jun Suk Shim and Yozi Galan. One more pack before we see our third set of autos. We have green before that, though. CJ Abrams, Taj Bradley. The green is, I see a flag again. World Baseball Classic, Eddie Rosario. So, Lee, three cards on the board for you now. The Eddie Rosario is numbered 63 of 99. Kiner Delgado and Aiden Sanchez getting hits as well. Stroman and Stroman Golden Rosario Green for Lee. Let's see. I can't tell if uh, if one pack feels thicker than the other, so we'll go with this one first. We have a base auto here. Looks like an A. Bo Bichette, Fernando Tatis, Clark Elliott, base auto, Dominguez and Blaze Jordan. Is uh, is Dominguez supposed to be back for the beginning of the season next year? I haven't really seen any updates. I know he went out after his uh, his huge start with a season-ending injury, but it was pretty close to the end of the season at that point. And our next auto looks like yellow, so we looks like we're going to add, add some more color. Ooh. Is this the Alfredo Duno background? No. Yes, <laughs> maybe. That looks like it could be a red color. James Outman rookie, Miguel Cabrera, and it is Alfredo Duno. Number 34 of 75. I could see the trees over there, and I knew that Duno was one of the guys who has trees there. Jason Churio and Ludwig Espinoza. Congrats, Duno spot. We uh, we were going crazy hitting Dunos for a long time, and it's been uh, a little bit slower on the Duno front since, but that is probably the nicest hit of the break so far tonight. We'll get that one front and center. Let's put the Edward Julian. Actually, let's put the Luis Torres on the side. We'll put the purple on purple over to the side. We'll put the Duno front and center. Let's get this off there. So halfway point of this break. And we got our biggest hit on the board there with that Alfredo Duno. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Probably since update is in the fall. I guess that makes sense. Little little seasonal. And then they'll do the, the holiday tops at some point in the next uh, couple months. And then they'll have the holiday parallels as well. Maybe they'll do Shamrocks in Series 1. Um, Vin loaded up on him too. You have a lot. I agree. Assuming that's Mayor that we're talking about. Yeah, I... Uh, I, I had told myself I was going to load up on Ellie's, and I didn't load up enough. I bought a few parallels, no autographs, um, and when he got called up, a couple of them were still at grading. They all PSA 9, which is pretty annoying. <laughs> um, so, hey, Tyreek touchdown. They gonna, no flag on this one, hopefully? No flag on this one. Um, so, yeah, I – Kind of picked Marcelo out as my next guy that I want to make a, a bigger investment in this time. So I started at the uh, East Coast National Card Show, got one of his Sapphire um, image variations, numbered to 99 and a PSA 10 that I actually made a trade for. Traded a Jackson Churio Mojo, and then there was something else in cash in the deal. But that, that started my collection. I've picked up a few since then. 
but I don't think that he's going to I, – I actually think that the next big guy, and this probably isn't mind-blowing to anybody, but the next big impact guy like Ellie will be uh, Jackson Holiday. So see if there's a, uh, a lull in the market that makes it possible to buy some nice holidays before his call-up, which will – I imagine how quickly he's been jumping through the minor leagues probably happen at some point next year. You have a few graded to load it up on him. Colson Montgomery. Yeah, I have I have a Montgomery purple auto uh, SGC nine auto ten uh, SGC uh, BGS nine ten. Probably should buy some more of him too. That's a, that's a really good call, Vin. Buy Brooks Lee says Meb. That's that's a sounds like an interesting one too. I haven't really looked at Brooks Lee much. We have a Patrick Bailey and James Outman. So we have our first repeats there. Let's see what we have in the first. Zach Veen. We have Juan Benjamin and Daverson Gutierrez. So it looks like four boxes and four different collations at first. So we love sharing the wealth. Love to see that. Um, looks like we're going to get some repeats in the rookies. Juan Soto. O'Neill Cruz. Interesting that Boom, uh, that uh, Tops decided to make the top half of these packs different from the bottom half. So, like, the rookies and the first don't always match. We have a Noel V. Marte. Chris, uh, that's our Arizona Fall League, Noel V. Marte. Christopher Turin and Luis Guanipa both getting on the board for the first time. Let's see. All in on Lee, says Darren as well. Chris got a couple 23 mega holiday at PSA at the moment. Yeah, I think I bought a mega green. Oh, no, that was a that was a Marcelo too, actually. Um, Miguel Cabrera, Alex Bregman, iconic, Bo Bichette. Green Refractor, number 5 of 99. Pretty sure that's going to the uh, pros and prospects slot, if I remember correctly. And Manuel Bonilla and Jackson Churio. Yeah, I would say my next big PSA order will probably be mostly made up of uh, of Marcelo Mayer. Plus some some other fun pickups, PC pickups I've made recently. With the with the market being the way it is right now, I've uh, I've definitely taken the opportunity to buy some nice PC stuff, including that whole Drew Timmy rainbow which I'm still looking for the super for. So if anybody knows where the Drew Timmy Bowman uh, 20, Bowman U 2023, the one that doesn't have the first symbol on it, um, if anybody knows where that card is, feel free to reach out. Jeremy Pena, Bobby Witt, Iconic, Kevin Arreu on the first shimmer, Brandon Maia for the first time, and Drew Jones. So Maia, the, the big name that we were missing, now on the board in base. We have all of our big names on the board now. Actually, let me do. Oh, I totally forgot that Jalen Hurts and Tua were on the we're on Alabama together. That makes this game. It puts another – oh, actually, these are going to be the autos. So let's put them on the bottom. Adds, adds some more uh, intrigue to this game. Ronald Acuna, Freddie Freeman, Michael Harris that came to the league, Jordan Lawler, and Drew Gilbert. Let's see, Jackson probably makes the majors by June. Yep, I would, I would agree with that, Meb. Think that think you hit a Lee refractor here tonight. Yep, you did hit a, a Lee number to 499. We have another green coming up here. Shoei Otani on the board again. Reese Hoskins. The next green is Yasser Mercedes, the other twins prospect, number 86 of 490 of 99. DePaula and Parada. All right, 1710 Eagles going into half. This, that could that could have been a lot worse. Mike McDaniel always sounding slightly high. 
Mike Trout iconic insert, Rain Don Cone Invicta, Jesus Galiz and Anderson De Los Santos. What do, what do people think of Dolf, of the Dolphins manager Mike McDaniel? It's definitely definitely different. Let's see. You remembered us all hating me hitting the Orion Kerkering autos? Who's Orion? I don't remember hitting an Orion Kerkering. Well, what product was that out of? I don't remember it. Phillies pitcher. We have a Manny Machado. We have a an Aqua Fuchsia Vapor behind the Vlad Guerrero Jr. of Juan Benjamin. Unfortunately, not a fourth super fractor of Juan Benjamin. Number 100 of 125, Vladimir Restitoyo and Jacob Melton. Nice hit for the Benjamin spot. Let's see. Let's put that in place of the Torres. Let's see. Chrome 22. Orion Kirkering. I, I don't remember it. Oh, what is that? Fuchsia. I thought it was red for a second. Corey Seager. Iconic Wander Franco. Michael Garcia on the rookie Fuchsia, numbered 185 of 299. Munoz and Alex Ramirez. Let's move over this pile. He's the Phillies reliever that went from low A to the majors this year. I probably should know more about that since he's in my division. I guess uh, I guess by the time he got called up, the Mets were already out of it, so I wasn't watching games as frequently. Oscar Colas, rookie. Miguel Amaya, rookie. Yasser Mercedes, prospect process. Miguel Tamares and Axiel Plaz, continuing to share the wealth with the firsts. Um, the Abner Uribe spot was interesting this year. It would have been... Uh, not, I wouldn't have been rooting for the uh, the Brewers to make it to the next round because I'm pretty sure – wait, did the Brewers play the Phillies or did the Brewers play the, the Diamondbacks in the first round? But the Uribe spot got a little bump because of the fact that he was in this product and in the playoffs after a, a very quick call-up. Chris Bryant, Rafael Devers. We have a Speckle Auto coming up here. Joe Henry Vargas. Speckle Auto number 255 of 299. That's that's pretty close to the Duno as hit of the break. What do you guys think is a bigger car, the Duno Yellow Auto or the Vargas Speckle Auto? Justin Crawford, Christian Vaccaro. The Vargas spot, I'm not sure what was going on with Vargas, but he was regularly selling for about $70 in our half case breaks. Dropped down to 15 in a break last uh, last week, and now he's back up around 50 so, seemed like somebody just got a, a, a one-off very good deal. Let's see. I'm going to take the Stroman down. We'll move the Bulgarian over. We'll put – I'm going to put I'm gonna put the Vargas front and center. And let's see our sixth, seventh, eighth auto of the break. Looks like it'll probably be a base. Bone Naylor. Christopher Morell. It is a base. D-backs colors. Can we get a De Los Santos? It is Davison De Los Santos. Only the second time we've hit a De Los Santos auto. Both of them base. Love to see that. Mejia and Luciano, potentially one of the best players in this product to have autos. Oh, that's not a notch sleeve. Let's get some more out there. Congrats, De Los Santos spot tonight. Let's see. Ooh, I missed my messages. Um... Darren, like Michael Garcia, too, solid first year. Yeah, just not that well known because of the fact that he's in KC. Oh, and we need to open more top loaders. Oh. He, his dad had the viral tears moment. That's Garcia. 
Vargas much bigger. Chris agrees that the Vargas is bigger. I was just I was shocked that the Vargas spot went for 15 on Tuesday. I was that was a big drop. And we pulled a bunch of nice cards of them too. I think we might have pulled two or three base and a teal number to 125. So that Vargas spot might have been one of the best value grabs of the year. Let's see. Let's put the De Los Santos up here and keep the Juan Benjamin up as well. All right, two more boxes to go. A couple nice auto hits on the board now. A few nice auto hits. That was a that was a pretty good box, actually. The Vargas and the De Los Santos autos coming out of that one. Anybody buying Mac Jones after today? One of one of the most unbelievable card sales that I can ever remember hearing. The uh, the Mac Jones was it score that first release that Mac when Mac Jones was undefeated his rookie season like six or seven and zero oh, and his uh, his base PSA ten. Sold for like two thousand dollars, and now you can't even get it. You can't even sell it for the cost of grading. And Manuel Valdez, Adley, second time on the board for Adley. Jose Salas. We have Yandri Vargas on the board again, and Ariel Castro. I'm trying to remember if Vargas and Castro have hit base already. I think they have, but I don't remember. Let's see what the rest of this collation looks like. I know we have a an Adley on the board already. So two Adleys on the board. Ooh. There's Celestin. So I guess we did have Yuandri on the board since we have two Celestins on the board now. Vinny Pasquantino, Christian Yelich, Andrew, Andy Pages. Yadair Arnamo and Celestin. Two Celestins, both base. Two Arnamos, both base. Brian, did you load up on Chase DeLauder? What's going on with Chase DeLauder? I was thinking of him the other day. I haven't heard his name much. We have a Fuchsia Shimmer coming up again. Bo Bichette, Brett Beatty, iconic rookie. We have a Nelson Rada Fuchsia Shimmer. Speaking of guys that Brian is loading up on, Nelson Rada, number 148 of 199, Brian Acuna, and Lazaro Montes. So whoever has Nelson Rada tonight, if they feel like selling this to Brian, I'm sure he'd be interested. Have some chase, not a lot. James Madison guy. How did he do in his first season? Oswald Peraza, rookie. Fernando Tatis, iconic. Roderick Arias, refractor, number 323 of 499. Sarmiento and Sebastian Walcott. Um, speaking of 2022 Bowman draft, um, Wednesday sweet spot is going to be running a Bowman draft 2022 break um, through our eBay store. So keep an, keep an eye out on that one for anybody interested in uh 22 draft. What that's going to be a two super fractor, uh, two super fractor, two super jumbo. So a 10 autograph break that, uh, that he's running. We haven't run any of those since, uh, the 2023 Chrome release. So nice. Excited that uh, we'll have that running on the uh, on the page again. I think I might have just opened up an auto pack by mistake. Let's see what we have. It's going to be a blue wave, and I believe this should be an auto. 
because we just had the shimmer behind or in front of it. Fernando Tatis, CJ Abrams. Let's see what we have here. Looks like a Royal, maybe. Junior Marin Auto. That is 13 of 250. The blue on blue. So we got some color matches going on in the autos tonight. We have the purple on purple. We had the blue on blue. Would have been really nice if we could have got the uh, the red on red for the Duno. Caminero and Rainer Arias. Couple Arias is on the board and that Junior Marin auto only. I love that he just signed with an M. No, no other part of his name, just one M. Let's see. Ooh, lots of messages. Uh, he came on strong. Joe hit me a base auto over the summer. He's in the Arizona Fall League now. 355 with five home runs and 39 RBIs. Wow, okay. Rangers leading 3-2 in the seventh. Two home runs, 15 RBIs, but not a high average. But as Schwarber showing, average is overrated. Yeah, don't even have to hit 200. Like that better than the purple? Yeah, the that's that's a good point. Let's let's see. Let's get that up in the display also. The Jesus B auto and the M for Junior Marin. So we got a colorful background now: purple, blue, yellow, orange, aqua vapor. Uh, this is going to be our other auto. I'll open it since likely it's going to be base since we hit the blue already out of this box. Got a Marcelo in the back. We oh, we're gonna get two colored autos. We have a refractor to 499. Wander. Joey Ortiz. Let's see. Wilfredo and Tunez. We have not seen him many times. I think this might only be the second time we've hit and Tunez. Numbered 367 of 499. Gennaro Miller and Marcelo Meyer. Double color auto box. Don't see those very often. Antonez and Marin. And let's keep it going. So no more autos out of this box. But we'll have plenty of color coming up. Bryce Miller. Matt Mervis. Francisco Alvarez, it came to the league. Samuel Zavala and Nelson Rada. I was shocked at... Uh, Matt Mervis didn't get bought in uh, in Brian's break on Friday. I'm still very, I'm still pretty high on Mervis. I actually have a Mervis Sapphire Auto that'll also be going to PSA. That order should probably go out. Um, Taj Bradley rookie, Jordan Walker, Andy Acevedo Speckle, Jacob Reimer, and Jacob Berry. I would I would guess that now is about the time that you would need to start sending um, economy orders to to uh, PSA in order to get them back in time for spring training to start. Might even be a little bit. Might even be getting a little bit close, to be honest, to being able to get that back on time. Let's see Jordan Beck. Yeah, Jordan Beck went crazy this year. That was that would have been a good investment for anybody chasing Jordan Beck in, at the beginning. We have an Invicta Atomic coming up here. Aaron Judge, Gabriel Hughes Atomic. That is number 71 of 150 going to Joe and the uh, insert only spot. Jace Young and Jason Churio. Let's see. Brian pulled a red auto last night. Make it two in a row. We have two more shots. Wouldn't wouldn't hate it. Let's see. Played a couple double A games. He hit an extra auto last night too. Brian showing off now. Those Dave and Adams boxes. Mark Vientos, Xander Bogarts, Rafael Devers iconic, Gabriel Gonzalez, Brady House. Two more packs left in box number five of six. 
And we have Mike Trout, Joey Votto, Prospect Process, Justin Crawford, Xavier Isaac, and Yasser Mercedes. And final pack looks like likely not going to have a refractor in this one since there was no refractor in the other one. Matt Olson, Michael Garcia, Heston Kerstad. Haven't seen this AFL card many times. Ludwig Espinoza and Jun Suk Shim. And one more box to go tonight. Like I mentioned, or well, I mentioned the 2022 draft break that's going to happen on Wednesday. I'll be back on Tuesday running another half case, the half case that we didn't rip tonight. So hopefully, hopefully we left some nice hits for that one. So half case on Tuesday, Brian will be back on Friday with another half case. And then Wednesday, we have the draft to Super Jumbo break. So we're going we're gonna to try and keep a more regular schedule for the, uh, for the upcoming month now that we've got settled back into the platform. I think I'm going to be running – I'm going to continue running at least Sundays, possibly Tuesdays as well. Brian's going to be running Fridays and possibly Saturdays, but definitely Fridays. And – Sweet Spot is going to be doing, I believe, Wednesday, Thursday. And he'll be doing uh, an assortment of things. For now, I believe we're just going to keep running 23 Bowman Chrome. Seems like that is the the hot product right now. And there's still all the drama going on with these super factors. So who knows what that's going to lead to. Let's see. Darren, when am I ripping that 2019 Bowman draft? So I ran. I ran one in spring training last year, so I think I'll probably do the same thing and run another one in spring training this year. Um, I may, maybe I'll combine that. Let's see. I think I actually ran it by itself, and I'll probably run that through the Facebook group. And uh, once once spring comes closer, that was a that was a fun thing to do last year during spring training, especially with uh, knowing that Gunner and Adley were uh, in there. Was it still Adley's rookie season? It wasn't Adley's rookie season, but they were still both uh, fresh out of the minors. Xander Bogarts, Mike Trout. So we're getting a similar coalition up top. Johan Rojas, Arizona Fall League, Marco Luciano, and Jonathan Mejia. Freddie Freeman, Manny Machado, Mason Wynn. Justin Crawford and Christian Vaccaro. So some car, some guys we've seen a couple times already getting on the board again. So we were well distributed through the first four boxes, then got repeats, but we do have orange. So we're going to have two oranges on the board tonight. Joey Votto, Jeremy Pena, iconic, and not a first. Oh, how about that, Lee? You picked a good night to pick the World Baseball Classic spot up. Roki Sasaki from Japan, number 19 of 25, Orange Sasaki, Lawler, and Drew Gilbert behind that. Lee, this uh, this might be the best rip we've had for you yet. Might You might have to pick up a new hobby of picking up World Baseball Classic spots. I think that's the fourth card that's going to you, and this one the lowest number. Let's see. Can I fit? All of these up there on the display with both oranges, Sasaki and Julian. So cool break tonight. Lee, let's see. Did we ever do a full case versus half? Um, I think we're probably just going to be running half half cases. Oh, the curse does a variation. That's why I haven't seen it. I'm going to check it right after this pack. Heston is an SP, number to 250. That would explain why I haven't seen it yet. We have a Shimmer here. Vlad, we have a Vlad Iconic. Gavin Cross, Shimmer. Josue DePaula and Kevin Parada. So let me sleeve up this Cross. I'll move the two autos down to the bottom. And then let me find that Heston, Arizona Fall League card. So... Might have a couple nice hits for uh, for Joe with that insert lot. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. Good call, guys. Number 231 of 250, Kirstead. With uh, the refractor, Arizona Fog. Does, does it look different than the rest of them? I don't think so. It's just a short print. Good catch. Cooler hit than I thought we had there. AFL MVP. Is that it? He was the... He was the MVP, so they made him a short print. Heston photo is the same photo as the Arizona Fall League auto for him. Only after only 18 straight breaks of no color. That, that was the key. He was switching it up to the Arizona Fall. I mean, to the uh, World Baseball Classic. Oswald Peraza, Wander Franco, Gunnar Henderson, it came to the league. Vladimir Restatoyo and Jacob Melton. Might be our first gunner on the board, if I remember correctly. A couple of Adleys, but I don't remember seeing another gunner. Any Merrill hits pulled? Nothing big. I think... I think I remember seeing him, at least in an Arizona Fall League. We have a green coming up. It's another World Baseball Classic green. Bo Bichette, Fernando Tatis, Denzel Clark. Uh, Denzel Clark, though, has an has a spot in the checklist, so this will go to the Denzel Clark spot. So Denzel Clark, not an easy guy to hit, is getting an auto and a World Baseball Classic uh, green today. So 42 of 99 for the Denzel Clark spot. Miguel Tamaris and Axiel Plaz. Did not have any idea Denzel Clark was Canadian. Let's see. Toronto, Ontario, Canada. There you go. A lot of World Baseball Classic spots tonight. Denzel Clark has a spot. Yep. World Baseball Classics seem to be nonstop tonight. There is another Gunner, iconic insert, Ensign Paulinho Invicta. Ton of Invictus tonight. Also, Vargas and Ariel Castro. Big Vargas night. Two breaks in a row, huh? To be honest. I think everything from that pack got sleeved up. Averson Gutierrez in the back. We have a CJ Abrams, Taj Bradley, Tristan Casas, iconic, Juan Benjamin, and Daverson Gutierrez. Good Juan Benjamin night as well with the aqua vapor that we hit for him. Let's see, this is the last box, Kevin. Two more autos left in this break. I'm thinking of Clark Elliott. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. So that one does go to the World Baseball Classic spot then. Denzel Clark. So another hit for Lee then. Jordan Walker. Mark Vientos. Brian Acuna Prospect Process. And Manuel Bonilla and Jackson Churio. So an even bigger night for Lee then. Joey Ortiz, blue coming up, Bryce Miller, not World Baseball Classic this time, but not a first either, Yasser Mercedes, I think, it's my, I can't remember if we hit any more Yasser Mercedes color, but this one's 54 of 150, Brian Acuna and Lazaro Montes, let's see what our final two, oh, Mallet. let's see what our final two autos of the night are going to be. Let's see, 
feel like maybe this one's a little taller. If we get color in this one, though, we'll save it for the last pack. We have Blue Wave again. So let's do the other pack first. Save the Blue Wave auto for the last card of the break. Ooh, this doesn't want to open. Let's go this way. And we also have a base. Vinny Pasquantino, Christian Yelich, Luis Guanipa. We pulled a speckle auto of him two breaks ago and base auto tonight. Nice hit for the Guanipa spot. Galiz and Anderson De Los Santos. Nice night for the Guanipa spot now. One base and one base auto. And final pack of the break. We have the blue, uh, blue wave auto coming up. And Manuel Valdez, our third Adley of the night. Alex Ramirez. Samuel Munoz. And the final hit of the night is, looks like maybe Brewers colors, Robert Moore. So multiple hits of guys who were in the 2022 Bowman draft set who didn't have autos. Clark Elliott and now Robert Moore. Brian, did you hit a, a Robert Moore auto this weekend? Let's leave up this last Adley, and then we will recap the break tonight. Turned into a pretty nice one. Didn't have, an, didn't get any huge named autos in the first couple boxes. Then the last few boxes, things picked up. A lot of big name autos got hit in the second half of this one. Let's see. Going for the Yasser Rainbow mat. Hopefully that blue helps. Let's see uh, that. Yeah, last box. All right, let's recap the break. So starting things off, Adley Base, Robert Moore, Blue Wave, number to 150, Guanipa, Base Auto, Yasser Mercedes Blue, Yoandri Vargas Base, Denzel Clark Green, WBC, Heston Kerstead, Short Printed Arizona Fall League Insert, Gavin Cross Schimmer, Gabriel Hughes Atomic, and Yasevedo Speckle, Wilfredo Antunes Refractor Auto, Gabriel Arias Base, Roderick Arias, Refractor, Nelson Rada, Fuchsia Shimmer, Felden Celestin, Adley, and Yoendry Base, Stroman, Gold, WBC, Michael Garcia, Fuchsia Rookie, Luis Torres, Speckle, Yasser Mercedes, there we go, so we hit green and blue for Yasser, Kevin Atreyu, Shimmer, Brandon Maia, Base, Bo Bichette, Green, Clark Elliott, there we go, so Clark Elliott and Denzel Clark, um, Base auto for Clark Elliott, Eddie Rosario, Green WBC, Marcelo Maya, Fuchsia Shimmer, Adley Base, Alex Ramirez, Purple, Brooks Lee, Refractor, Tamar Johnson, Bowman Ascension, Grayson Rodriguez, um, Aqua Lava, Rookie, Luis Perales, and Daniel Ma uh, Mateo, Base Auto, Masataka Yoshida, World Baseball Classic Refractor, Felden Celestin, base, Adrian Pinto, Shimmer, Miguel Vargas, Aqua Lava, base of Arias, Francisa, base auto of Luis Serna, Po Young Wang, refractor, WBC, Ethan Salas, base, Yasa Mercedes, Shimmer. So three hits for Yasa Mercedes. Then going across the back, we had the Juan Benjamin, Aqua Vapor, Aqua Fuchsia Vapor. Let's go Jesus Bulgarian. Purple on purple auto next, number 10 of 250. Junior Marin, blue on blue wave auto, number 13 of 150. Then going Davison De Los Santos, base auto. Roki Sasaki, yeah, uh, orange, number to 25, numbered 19 of 25, WBC. Edward Julian with the either nameplate or some kind of uh, – Black patch numbered one of 25 on the relic card, and our two big hits the Alfredo Duno yellow auto and the Yoendri Vargas special auto. 
Hercules, you're on Rada. If uh, if you're interested in trying to trade that one to Brian, reach out through uh, the Facebook group. I'm sure he'd be interested in adding adding more Radas. He always is. All right, everybody. Thank you again for joining tonight. Like I said, we'll be back on Tuesday, then Sweet Spot on Wednesday, Brian on Friday. So busy week here. So we'll uh, we'll see you guys later in the week and enjoy the start of your weeks. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, Meb. Thanks, Darren. We'll see you guys later.